I'm Harley. I would wave, but my hand's a little full holding a baby. So I, uh, and the other hand has the phone. And that's, that's where we're at. Um, hopefully she cooperates while I do this, but I wanted to let you all know about a TV show that I watched that I really enjoyed. It's an adaptation from um, a comic book uh, called The Boys, and it's available on Amazon Prime. Uh, it's free with Prime membership if you have it, and if you don't, uh, I don't know why you wouldn't. <laughs> I'm not a big endorser of many things, but Amazon Prime is one of those things that I can totally get behind. Um, because basically I love easy shopping. I mean, any shopping that I can do that I don't have to leave my house for is pretty much great. <laughs> Anyhow, um, The Boys is about a bunch of superheroes who are uh, not great superheroes, actually. I mean, they, they do superhero things, but um, I mean, it's it's more as of like uh, if you took just basic people, people that aren't even really good people, and gave them super abilities um, and a bunch of so you're giving a bunch of people a lot of power and then gave them a lot of money uh, if you had a like a corporate sponsor for superheroes um, it's kind of like that and basically they uh, they go out and they save people and stop crime sort of um, but really the bottom line of the story is that they're just uh, kind of corrupt superheroes. They're paid to save who matters, um, and if they can't save, for instance, someone, they'll just kill them, so they can't tell anybody that they didn't get saved, I guess. Um, it's all about, it centers around, like, social media and social media's involvement um, in, in being a superhero. Um, it's just a very kind of modern take on what being a superhero would be like, which I found very interesting. There are parts that really are really uncomfortable to watch, but it's also pretty funny at the same time. And um, there's a lot of scenes where I was just kind of like, oh, I can't believe they just did that. So I am trying to not, I'm trying to make a spoiler free video, so I don't want to go into it too much. Um, it stars a lot of people that you would recognize. Um, Carl Urban plays Billy Butcher, Jack Quaid, Anthony Starr, Aaron Moriarty. Um, Dominique, oh, I can't read her full name. Hold on. Dominique McElliott, uh, Jesse T. Usher, Lance Alonzo, Chase Crawford. I mean, it just, there's so many characters. It's a really big kind of universe. Um, it's based on the seven, the seven superheroes, which is, I mean, I'm not even going to say loosely, uh, centered around the Justice League. I mean, it's really kind of like a blatant ripoff of the Justice League. Um, for instance, there's the Deep, who is very obviously an Aquaman. Uh, there's A-Train, who is the Flash, basically. Queen, May Queen Maeve is uh, Wonder Woman. Um, Homelander would be Captain America. Well, not Captain America, that's Marvel. So, who would he be in DC? Uh, not Batman. He's Superman. Superman, sorry, it took me a minute. My mind... My, my brain was just not functioning well. <laughs> it's, it's mommy brain. It's the struggle is real, guys. I'm sorry. So uh, basically the two characters that are not superheroes. Um, okay, so here's my first spoiler moment. The, there's Huey. And Huey has a girlfriend. And him and his girlfriend are walking down the street. And they stop for a second to kiss. And the Flash runs into his girlfriend and just splatters her. There's not even a better word. She's just like vaporized in the goo on him, on the street, on A-Train, who's also the Flash. Uh, and uh, so it, the, that's the beginning. That's the catalyst of the story. He wants to make A-Train pay, basically, for killing his girlfriend because he feels like he just got away with it. A-Train's excuse is that he was stopping a bank robbery, but... Um, what Huey discovers is there wasn't a bank robbery that day, and it's kind of all just a farce. And uh, because there is a corporate sponsor, he can just get away with it. Um, Huey is approached by Carl Urban's character, Billy Butcher, who kind of had something similar happen to him, and they decide to team up to try to take down the superheroes, basically. Um, and it's kind of that... 
Don't fall off the couch. Come here. Come here. Sit with me. Sit with me. Uh, it's their um, adventures, I guess, if you want to say adventures, about how they get there. So, oh, we're losing patience. We're losing patience. I'm sorry. Um, about how they take down these superheroes or their attempt to take down these superheroes. Um, it's it's their adventures and, and how they uncover different things to uh, basically this whole plot, this whole super plot. Um, and they set up this show for a really good season two, I think. So uh, I, I want to just throw it out there that I thought it was a really good, it's only eight episodes. It was a really good eight hours of TV. You can zoom right through it in a day. Rainy day like I'm having today where I live. Uh, you could just sit down and power straight through. Very easily could knock them all out in a day and uh, just want more. And that's where I was left. Was I got to the end of the last episode and went, oh crap. And now I have to wait until next year for the next season. So I need you all to feel the same feeling that I have of, what the hell? I need more show. <laughs> so let me know what you think about it. Go watch it. Um, tell me what you think. And uh, remember to tell your friends. Make sure to subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell so you can be the first to get the notifications about these videos when they happen. And um, what else? Uh, comment and like, I guess, you know, all of the things, all of the things that I have to say to do because that's what it's all about, right? So I hope you enjoy the show as much as I do and let me know your thoughts on it. And I look forward to hearing from you all real soon. Bye guys. Bye. That's a little baby bat girl. Bye. <laughs>